Welcome to the ASA video from Cisco TAC. This is Santino Lopez and Enrique Ruiz. In this video, I will show you the steps to deploy a new ASA V on Microsoft Azure platform. First, log in to portal.azure.com. On the search bar at the top, search for Marketplace, if it's not already on your top used services. On the marketplace, search for ASAVI. Please choose the normal ASAVI. Select Create button. Please fill all the needed fields to deploy the ASAVI. Here, we can enter the resource group, the virtual machine name, select the software version to deploy, enter an admin username, authentication type, using a password or SSH public key, and location. If you don't have a resource group without a VM, you can create a new resource group here. Select OK. On this page, you can modify the memory and CPU settings by selecting the virtual machine size, your storage account for the virtual machine disks. You can generate a new public IP address or use an already existing one in your account. You can create a new virtual network or use an existing one and you will need to configure the subnets that the ASAV uses for its four interfaces. In this page, we can see the terms of use and the privacy policy from Azure regarding our virtual machine and a brief summary of the settings to deploy our ASAVI. Please review everything is correct and select OK. When we select Create, the deployment of the virtual machine starts. It takes a couple of minutes for the virtual machine to be created and to have access to it. Now let's select the resource group list and enter to our newly created resource group. Here we can see both our ASAVI the network interface cards and the virtual network. On the virtual machine, we can see the public IP address that is assigned to our SAV on the management interface. Now we can SSH into our SAV and start configuring it as needed. This was the video to deploy a new SAV on Microsoft Azure platform by Cisco TAC. Thanks for watching.